Hi, and in today's Microsoft Word tutorial, I'm going to teach you everything you need to know about how to customize your text in a table cell. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to the insert tab, go to the table icon, click on the drop down, and I'm just going to insert a simple four by four table. So this is my default table that will appear. Now I'm just going to insert some text in this cell. In order to fit the text in your cell the way you want to, there's several different things that you can do. So the first thing, and this most simple thing, is to move your cursor over to the line between these two cells until it turns into a double-headed arrow. Click and just move the line over to the right and you can see your text will adjust according to the width of the cell. If you don't want to adjust the rest of the table, highlight just the two cells, then move your cursor over the line again and just move to the left or the right. Of course you can go ahead and change the font size of your text or even the font and that will adjust the way it looks within your cell. The next thing you can do is adjust the wrapping. So you can do that just for the cell or you can do it for the whole table. So let's do it for the whole table. You can go up and click this square icon at the top here or you can just click and drag to select your table. Then right click go down to table properties, go to cell, then go down to options and then you can choose wrap text or fit text. Wrap text is as you continue to type your cell will increase in height as your text increases and so it will push the text down the page. Fit text is where you have a fixed cell size and as you type your text will get smaller and smaller to fit within the cell. So let's just show fit text, click OK and click OK. And as you can see here, Word has decreased the size of my text to fit my cell. If I increase my words in my cell, then you can see again they get smaller and smaller. So that's an option for you. Alternatively, you can simply decrease the size of your text yourself. Just highlight your text, go to the Home tab. You can use the Increase or Decrease font size tabs or you can select from the values here. So if I go to 5, you can see my text fits beautifully within my cell but it's very, very small. So let's just go back to 12. The other thing you can do is adjust the margins around your text. So once again, you can either highlight the entire table to affect the table or just the cell itself. I'm going to select the table. I'm going to right click, go down to table properties. Then I'm going to go to cell. Then I'm going to go to options and then cell margins. Same as the whole table, just uncheck that. And then here you can decide on your margins for your table. So at the moment we've got zero centimeters. Let's just adjust that to one to demonstrate, which means the text will be one centimeter from the outside of our cell border. Let's adjust this one as well. And then just click OK and click OK. And as you can see, my text now has a one centimetre margin around it within the cell. Now that's not going to be very suitable for most instances, but that's just for demonstration purposes. And as you can see, it's also adjusted it for every other cell. So if I was just to continue to type, you can see it affects all the cells. Okay, now in terms of its alignment, if you highlight your cell, go up to layout, and here you have these nine different options about where you'd like your text to lie within your table cell. Now generally it's at the top and to the left, but then sometimes you want to align it to the centre, particularly if you have a title. So if we align to centre, you can see the text has moved over slightly. If I go to this cell here and just click table, you can see 
if I click this center one, it goes to the center, bottom center, left, and so you can see how you can move your text around in your table cell. And of course, the final thing to quickly show you is if you just want to change your text completely, you can go up to these text options here, change your font, and of course you can change the color, and you can change bold, italics, and underline here. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please subscribe and have a great day.